Hi all. So my stealth cruiser ended in a bust, but we got the rock cruiser from the uh, sixth sector and into the seventh sector. The rock cruiser is, of course, apparently missile cruiser. It starts off with the Artemis and the hull missile. So the Artemis is basically the standard missile launcher of most Federation ships. It requires one power, does two damage per shot, pierces shields. The hull missile is basically um, similar to it, but requires two power. It does still two damage per shot, but does uh, twice as much damage on Sismith's uh, rooms. So, kind of interesting. We start off with Rock Band, so let's uh, kill these guys appropriately. Rock. And we'll call this guy Castle. What's a good name for the final one? Hmm. Why not? All right, there's a few names. Rock, Castle, Solid. Um, as you can see from this layout, it's like a box. How, you know, the bullet works. We'll uh, rename this to maybe, you know, the box. And uh, it basically has med base here, weapons here, engines here. And then it has like, probably right here will be like, um, I don't know. Maybe teleports are like here or there. Because they're near the med bay, for, you know, because of how it's set up. Cloaking is probably in one of these two squares. I'm going to bet it's right there. Drone is probably, you know, also in that area. Cloaking is probably here in Bane, just because, you know, that's how it seems to look. Or maybe here. Looks like you vent a ship from over here. Alright, let's look at the achievements here. So, um... Is it warm in here? Have your crew kill a burning Emmy on their ship while using the rock cruiser? Defense drones don't do anything. While using a rock cruiser, destroy an enemy ship using, um, only missiles while their defense drone is deployed. And ancestry, find the secret sector of the rock cruiser. So, um, kind of interesting. Basically, uh... Blow up a rebel rigger or something like that with uh, only missiles. Rock plating. Rock plating, of course, is uh, as you saw, it protects your hull, you know, 50% of the time to any incoming hull damage. Kind of useful. Um, let's just get to this. Uh, you basically see the overview. Let's just get into it. Tip: Nebulas passing through Nebulas will allow you to temporarily slow down the fleet advance, but they can, um, but they contain their own unique dangers. All right. So as you can see, we have lots of missiles on this thing. And we have a good amount of fuel, no drones, basically, basically standard setup. I want to move guys around. Let's put Rock or Rook. Rook can go here. Castle, you can go to Shields. Actually, no, we'll put Rook on uh, Engines. And I'll put uh, Solid right here. Solid, Castle, Rook. Alright, and, uh, parity's up. And let's see here. The exit's down here. There's a nebula over here. I think we'll go in the direction of the nebula to try and get to it, so I can slow down this fleet a little bit. There are only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has a mark of base, base pirate. Let's see a civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. So he's got a beam weapon and a standard laser. I shouldn't have too much trouble with him, though. I think what my plan will be is we're gonna just, you know, go with a sort of standard approach, blow him up with uh, stuff like this. I won't even bother with, uh, you know, targeting elsewhere. Don't really need to. There goes his uh, weapons. Wow, that hump does a lot of damage. Boom. The power ship breaks apart here in the contest of the ship. The sector has become increasingly dangerous to, to for friends of fish, and I think my crew can patch up their hull damages. Thanks. Alright, that didn't really help me, but you know, fun. He 
You saw across the fort scout the row of fleet. They're probably up there after shell. If they get away, they'll know that we're in a fleet for position. Wonder if he, what type of drones he's got, but let's see here. Um, we're gonna do Armis on this, I guess, and I'll do Hull Missile on his piloting. Just to slow him down and prevent him from hurting me. He's probably got like defense jumps and stuff like on his ship, because I don't see anything slowing around and attacking me, so. Ouch, I hit my auction there. Okay, I heard his weapons. We'll do this. You can go here. You can go there too. Ooh, that doesn't look too good. This is basically not connected right here, so I have to walk through here to get into it. It's actually all like that. So basically all these rooms are disconnected. They, you have to walk through this main area to get to all this stuff. Kind of uh, a nuisance really, to be honest. Okay, that hurt his uh, piloting. I heard his engines. He's not going to be getting anywhere anytime soon. We'll do this. Actually, no, we'll uh, turn off the arms and just let the hull missile finish him off. Um, I forget which, what these guys are on now. Rook. I don't know, you go here. Castle, you go down there, I guess. That may not have been the proper setup. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, this guy has uh, shields. Rook, you're going to engines then, because you have the engines. Yep, that's how it worked. Alright, this should finish him off. They break apart. I get two missiles. Good reward for it. On this ship, I'm probably going to be taking uh, missiles whenever I see them. Alright, uh, let's go to distress speaking. You arrive at a distress beacon to see a small asteroid belt and what finds to be a parking mining is possibly crushed between two large rocks. It must be a legally mined belt without proper equipment. I can try to dislodge it, destroy the loot and the ship. Um, let's try to dislodge because I might be able to get a weapon out of that. You fire a few volleys into rocks and it starts to shatter and break apart without shields the pirate ship takes being, but eventually just falls free. They thank you for your assistance. They give me crap, but whatever. You know, I was chancing for, you know, getting uh, a weapon or such from it. Okay, we can go to the store or avoid the store. I don't really need to go to the store for anything yet. So we'll avoid it and just continue on. You arrive at a popular sector. One merchant seems to be brought back by an aid for mercy safe to aid him. Your ship seems really equipped. Our fair carrying shipments of goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate filled sector in, in their haste, and I fear for the car's safety. I'm looking for a lesson common captain investigate. Accept. At least you're confident for what is little is worth. Here's the last local location. Add quest mark to your map. All right, so they're all up there. I can possibly get there before the rebels catch me, and get the exit. You arrive near damage into the space station. It appears to have ban, ban, but you detect faint life signs on the board. Let's try and find out what's going on. All around you, the of death and decay. Suddenly, one of your crew bends over and starts rushing violently. Some sort of disease must have wiped out the station. You pull back the ship, but looks like your crew melted in the case. Ah, that sucks. I just lost solid. Oh, that's my pilot, too. Oh, we just lost my pilot. So that wasn't worth it. This is already turning out to be a bad run. Uh, go up here. A stream of clicks and gurgling come from a con from a hostile mental scout. The Universal Chancellor may be on a blink, but his intent is obvious. Um... He's got missiles and hull lasers. I think what we'll do with those is we're going to go after his uh, weapons and pretty much the standard thing as before. Armist down his weapons. And then we'll start armisting down his poly maybe next. It won't really matter, I don't think. He'll be dead pretty quick. Yeah, he's going to be dying. Pretty soon. Ship explodes. So I got fuel, scrap, all that. Uh, let's move over to the quest. You take the real Ame's uh, ship nearby. It's, it, does not, it does not engage and sees you patrolling around long range sensor station. 
Uh, sensors. Let's attack it, though. I mean, this guy doesn't look to be too devastatingly, you know, dangerous. More importantly, I want to scrap and such so I can find, so do that. Doesn't look too dangerous. I mean, his lasers are probably not going to hurt me too much. Oh, I missed. Hopefully the helmet doesn't miss. Ouch. I missed twice, apparently. You know, let's just let the helmet pop, pop, try and finish him off, maybe. Nice. Laser hit the shield. Palm missile fire. That blew him up. You accessed the recent scans to Nargaret Station. Your map has been updated with details in the surrounding area, and I got scrap for it. There's the quest, and apparently there's a sore up here, but more importantly, it seems there's something in the nebula. But whatever, we'll go through the quest first. You arrived at last known location of recent delivery. You've been a scan for a lost ship. You find the remains of the ship. It seems to have uh, had several external damage, but you can't pin a, ca a cause. The majority of its cargo seems intact. You manage to destroy the ship's intended destination. Um, I can take the cargo and head to its destination in search of a reward, or take the cargo for myself. Let's try taking it to its destination. I just want to start to the next sector. All right, good, because I need to book it from this sector soon. Um, I might be able to maybe go bing, bing, bing. Because, you know, this will slow it down. But it's kind of risky. But whatever, we'll try it. This is looking like a bad run anyway, so we'll have to take a few risks. Advanced Rebel Scout. We're going to station near a small Rebel Space Station. However, with health function sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. Let's attack it. Kill it. Looks like he's not going to be too strong. Oh, I spoke too soon. He's got this. And I don't have the shields, apparently, yet. That's not good. I probably should wait for the shields to uh, recharge. Do this. Um... Both on weapons, I guess. Helmets is just as good as the arm is for that. Damn, he took out uh, both of those. Okay, shields are back on. But at least they're not... Well, it wasn't charged just yet. Okay, that's turn off his weapons. Helmets, let's go after this. send you over to fix the auction. You can go fix medbay. You saw what you can from a broken ship. And we got ourselves a breach bomb mark two. Military grave weapons. Alright, so breach two. This is a bomb weapon, requires no missile, or requires a missile, does free damage to assess and creates a hull breach. Can target your own ship. Um, this is pretty much like the hull missile, I guess, sort of. But it's more like more likely to do breaches, though. At this point in in life, discuss breaches. Eh, I'll we'll send you over here. You can go back to engines. Shields. I have no clue what these guys are doing. You're gonna go here. You're my engine guy. Don't need this. Alright, so it looks like I, I'm probably gonna be getting it's like a bit close, but whatever. Go here. You discover a nearby plant, so it was selling, so don't none respond to hails. And just chancing it, but we're getting just, you know, right to the exit before you get there. You arrived at a long range beacon with the FL jars, you can charge and jump to the next sector. You text an Omni Rail Scout attacking a small refueling outpost that's never to defend. It's got lasers mostly, but that's about pretty much it. Um, I won't try and cause a breach on this guy, it won't really hurt me. Or, um, you know, aim me that much, so let's kill him right away. Artemis down his weapons. 
One hit from the Hall Muslim, one hit from the Arab should be enough to finish him off. Nice, he resisted the damage. Okay, that took his weapons out. I also have a fish moth. The ship breaks apart and he quickly stops what you can. I got two missiles, cool. The Alpha's heals you after the scouts destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non stop by the scouts. Take this on the house. Missiles, scrap, fuel, all good stuff. Next sector, we'll go to uh, Rebel Control Sector because there's lots of red dots in this way. Maybe I'll get a Mantis homeworld on the way. This sector is hit hard by, by the rebellion. That the many alien settlements and stations located here, located here are now watched over by almost equally number of rebel bases. Heavily hand keep the peace. All right, there's the quest. You find a station that has ordered cargo. You drop it off and they spawn. Ignoring the fact that these are day late, we really appreciate um, that you deliver materials. We realize how dangerous the sector is in these days. Take this as payment. Give me a system repair drone. Cool. That could actually be really, really beneficial to get a drone system right now. Goes to Stress Beacon. A small civilian ship flies over as you arrive. They're prepared to, you're prepared to fight, but they inform you just how to feel fuel. Let's help them. He gives me an uh, Iron Blast Mark II. This uh, is a single blast that has one iron damage that fires very quickly. So it's basically the same as like the one on the Taurus. Um, what's really great about those is that it charges really fast. So um, I actually do want to go ship upgrade this once, just so I can get the Armus, and then I'll do like this. So, you know, I'm not like constantly wasting uh, missiles because I'll I run out of missiles. If I'm not careful. Once you arrive, the location is just called and the ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't pull out a course to the nearest depot to fix it. Could you please us there? Lead them to the station. All right, there's the quest. Let's go up to it. Yep, asteroid field. You arrive in asteroid field, discover that rebel army is custom stationed here. Prepare for a fight. All right, so we'll iron blast down his shields, of course, and we'll do an armor on his weapons. If, maybe I'm lucky, uh, actually, he has weapons with the Iron Blast. Nice, I did his weapons. Alright, his weapons are down. Um, this is nice and all, but we'll stick to the hull missiles just to try and finish him off. Now his weapons are down. Alright, I should be able to finish him off uh, with the next, you know, volley or so. Boom. Ship explodes, even I just asked a question of the scrap material. That was so quick, I just killed him right off, like, instantly there. Go to the quest, I guess. Seems kind of a waste because I'm not really. Maybe I should go here first or here because the rebels are so far away. I'll go to the quest, I guess. I'll backtrack through if I have to. This is ship you were asking, thank you. I don't know how we, how we could have made it without your help. Let my friends pack shop some of the hall and show you some of our wares. Cool. I like this. Um. He does not have drone control in here, but if I want to, I can get cloaking or anything like that. Um, what do I want to sell? Because I don't really need all these weapons. I don't think. We'll do this, because this will be good, worth it. Do this. This. Hmm. Uh, the crew teleport might be worth it. But I sort of lost a crewman for it. I'm actually going to keep this because it'll be worth it if I get drone control system with, you know, the lack of crew at the moment. Uh, we'll get the crew tailblower, I guess. And if I have to, I'll send both my rockmen to finish off a ship or something. I should probably upgrade my scanners for it, though. Oh well. There's another store there. Uh, let's go here. 
Oh, there's a sun. You arrived to find yourself extremely close to the star. You see a message from a power ship. I'm glad you arrived here. Our ship is damaged and we are getting desperate. I hope you don't mind if, you, if we take yours. Well, they're going to have to die. Let's see here. Does this do any damage to people? Doesn't seem to. Too bad. This is actually a bad situation. I want to get these guys here and vent my ship completely. Open doors. And we'll have these guys sitting there. Actually, this is actually also a bad situation because there's three on one here, or three on two. So go here. That's not, that's not even better. I might just die here. Well, at least it got the ship vented. He's surviving, I guess. He's dying. He, if he dies, I'll survive this, I guess. This is not a happy time. That's kind of close on me. Let's do this so I can get oxygen going in the ship. I don't worry about the teleporter just that yet, but we'll need to worry about it soon. Castle, you're going to get to what? The engines? Piling. And Rook will go to the engines. Gotta charge my FTL. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna actually open all doors. Except for these ones and these ones. So I don't have to worry about fires everywhere else. Whoops. Now I'll make sure I don't have to you know worry if fires get anywhere else. All right, I can get to the exit from here, or I can go here, or here. Let's go here. The ship is hailed. I'm a message. Okay, we'll kill this guy. Funny how it has I'm a message and tries to run away. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, best weapons, I guess, would be Aramis on here. Helmet's still right there. Just to fire really fast. Do this. And... Uh... No, we're going to go after his uh, piloting instead. Because I want to stop him before he gets away. More, more than anything else. I'm actually really concerned about my auction. Okay, I heard his weapons. That missed, at least. My doors are down. I can't open the flame, or open to put out the flame there. That's a bit of a concern, but oh well. They're delayed. Good. Target here. And you guys can go here and put this out. And hull missile should be enough to finish him off. Put that one out. Fix that door. Boom. Ship breaks apart and you feel relief knowing that you're ahead of fleet. Fix the door. Fix the teleporter. We'll upgrade my scanners. And it looks like my teleporter is here right next to my med bay, so. I actually really like how this ship is set up. You basically got, um, like, drone control. You've got probably cloaking right there. Standard setup. Uh, Rook can go back to engines. Guys are going to piloting. But yeah, pretty much interesting setup of my ship. You got, like, these 
this core area where you can like you know sort of guard your ship and all that and you've got your rooms and the other places all around it okay, let's go up here now Our ship is patrolling the beacon and immediately turns to engage as your crew scout scan out to Valorant sensors, detect a short range teleport singer and intruders on board. A flushed and panicked rebel short is teleport aboard. The rebel who appears unarmed and repeatedly, and repeatedly curses peaceful attentions. It seems real life has lost its charm. I will have to accept this proposal because I really have to get more guys. The rebel makes, uh, makes to his assigned station, then suddenly turns and investigates the nearby crew member. Red alert. Apparently, I just lost uh, another crew member. Uh, we're actually going to put him here, actually. I'll do this instead. Keep him out of the core areas. You be here, I guess. And this and this. Hopefully I'll get him out. Yeah, let him go to door control. Close the doors. Ouch, I missed. I'm gonna find my arm says pilot. We'll go after his weapons because it doesn't seem like he's going to run for me. Alright, that is that him damage. Actually call a hull breach there. Good to see. Next couple of missiles should be enough to finish this guy off. Trying to get away now. Oh well. Turn this off. Meh. Nah. We'll do this. Oh, I can't. My door system is down. Hopefully, fish him off. I blew him up. Go finish him off. Ship explodes soon behind us. The sand collection of useless scrap material. Well, so far, I've lost two of my uh, rock crewmen. That's not good. My O2 is down now too. I'm at substantial risk for being boarded at this point. Go fix up the O2 before I lose too much oxygen. Maybe we'll just continually play this until I either win or lose this one. Just because it doesn't seem like I'm going to get too far since I've already lost two guys. This is taking a while. One guy only. That was a new event though, I think. Seeing the rebel give up his, you know, give up the rebel life. Never seen that before, I don't think. Now, here's a question for my ship. I basically have lots of missile-type weapons, but what happens when my missiles run out? I've done fairly well so far, but... Uh, I'm really going to have to replace one of these with like a beam weapon or something, just so I have another way of damaging stuff. Um, We'll go over here, I guess. Ship refueling stations here. I suppose that's not a bad, bad trade for scrap. And I could go to the store for missiles, but we'll go to this. No, we won't. I don't have enough time. We'll uh, go to the Mantis homeworlds apparently. So there was a homeworld, but I don't think I'll be able to board anyone with uh, only one rockman like this. You enter a poorly tried area of space that's known to be home to Mantis. Ensure your Paul brand is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel and tank to make it through. If I get bored by Mantis, we're probably screwed, but whatever. It would be a quick run anyways, with only one guy left. We found you, prepare to die. Luckily he doesn't have uh, any way to board me. Um, I suppose we have to do what? Arm us down his weapons, hull his missed weapons, just take him out real fast. Sounds like the best idea.
Ooh, I took a hit. There goes my engines. I'm not going to be able to dodge now. And apparently I lost my weapons. Okay. Let's send you down here to put up the fires for the weapons. Before I lose it and they can't fire the arms anymore. Up, oh, lost the armus. Hopefully, though, that fire will be enough to keep down his weapons as well. Put out those fires. Kind of annoying how the fires are spreading. Okay, I have to consider this. Close the doors. Up here, missiles. I'm not getting away from this fight, so I have to arm us down, hopefully, quickly. Why is this engine hurt? I maybe fire went in there? Don't know. I was saying duck with no engines, by the way. There's no chance of dodging, basically. Okay, we heard his weapons. Piling's taking big hits. Okay, they surrendered, and I want the missiles, so take that. I'll take the surrender, because I really do need them to surrender and keep going at this point. This guy's gonna get some pretty good repair at least. Okay, we gotta shut down that. Engines are going back online. How are you doing repairs? You're basically 12 of 18, so... You won't be enough to get, you know, up to 18, probably, but... You might get there. Alright, let's go to Med Bay. So yeah, I can already tell this is going to be a bad run, but you know, I might as well just finish it out, see how it works. Playing with only one rock guy. Now I gotta do two things here. I have to fix the breach and I have to fix the piling. Okay. We'll uh, pull him out and I'll go heal up. One thing's for sure, I'm probably not going to be running away from any fights just because of the simple fact that I don't have any enough, enough shields or dodge to really evade shots, so if I get hit, I get hit most of the time. Repairs, we're already up to 13, I'll probably go up to 14 now. Now let's go here. Discover yet another unlicensed and try mantis colony. They certainly waste no time expanding their claims. Mantis ship moves into a signature step and before you can jump away. He's gonna send two mantis over and kill me, so this will probably be it. But let's fight, you know, the good fight. Uh, I'll hit off his weapons and right there. Yeah, I wanna get him out there. Looks like they're coming for me. Oh, they're going to my med bay apparently. Or teleporters. I'm going to go after my teleporters. Oops. Okay, he's taking my med bay down. Uh, let's get him out of med bay. Miss, that's not good. See my weapons now. Get him out there. Can 
Coming off my uh, pilot finally. I'll have to get you over here, I guess. And we'll do this on the way out. Oh, I died. Well, we knew that was going to come eventually. It wasn't going to last much longer, but oh well. One last explosion marks the fate as your ship is torn apart. Was it worse than my uh, stealth cruiser, do you think? Can't really tell. Top scores? Not even in the top scores. That's just how poor that one was. Um, so the box didn't make it too far away. Oh well. That's the rock cruiser then. I'll try and do a better run next time because it seems to be my luck. I seem to do terrible in the first run and better in the second. So take care.